Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook us up a little bit of okra. Just gonna throw it in a skillet with a little bit of tomato gravy. It's gonna taste fantastic. Now we're gonna use fresh okra for this recipe because frozen okra, you know, it sucks, you know, so don't use that if you don't have to. When you buy it, you know, try to get pieces that are one inch or two inches long. You don't want super duper long pieces because they get a little bit tough. Short, firm pieces are your best bet. If they're soft and bendy, that means they're old. Now I'm cleaning up the stems a little bit, but it shouldn't need a lot of that. Your okra should have a nice green color all around. And when you're trimming, don't cut into the pod because you know you'll let out that goo. You know, it's full of goo. Grab you a large onion or medium sized onion, depending on how much you like onion. Get that chopped up. Then heat you up two tablespoons of olive oil on medium heat. Throw your onions in there and we'll give them a minute's head start. Then add one teaspoon of mustard seeds. Keep cooking your onions up. You want them to get nice and soft and start throwing out that onion flavor. Add a tablespoon of coriander powder and a teaspoon of chili powder. It's really going to darken those onions up. So mix those flavors well and then I'm going to put in one cup of tomato puree. Now I like using tomato puree because it turns this into almost like a tomato gravy. Now you can use a couple of fresh tomatoes if you want to, but it's not going to be nearly as thick. You know, it's going to be a lot thinner, but it won't be as sweet either. So if you don't like it sweet, you might want to go for the fresh tomatoes. You're just going to have to decide that. Now throw you a little bit of salt in there, however much you like, get it all stirred up, and it's time to add our okra pods. And use fresh okra, man. It can't be beat. And when you buy this okra, you know, cook it that day or the next day. Don't wait a long time because okra won't stay fresh for very long in your refrigerator. Now, okra's got a semi-well-deserved reputation for being kind of slimy, which it can be, you know, but cooking it with tomato combats that. And we're going to add a tablespoon of vinegar, and that'll also keep down on the sliminess. And it's not going to get slimy anyway because we're not cutting into the pods, you know. A lot of times... People will slice up the pods, you know, and use it as a thickener in stews and soups. But if you cook it whole in the pod and, you know, cook it fast in a skillet like we're doing, you know, it's just a whole other kind of vegetable. Now we're going to throw in one quarter cup of water, reduce the heat down to low, throw a lid on there, and let it simmer for five minutes. And there you have it, man. That's just about it, you know. It's not a very wet dish, so, you know, you shouldn't have to cook it too long to get that moisture out of there. You know, the pods should still have a little bit of a crunch to them. Throw a little bit of black pepper on there if you want. I often find I have to add a little more salt to this, you know. So check it for salt. And then there you go. Give it a good stir. Get it off the heat because it's time to eat.